The new Rockstar boss is out, and wow, this is the most disgusting boss ever because the amount of prayer swapping you have to do. They did say this was on between Araxor and Telos, but with Araxor, you prayer one thing for the first three phases, and then phase four, you do minor prayer swapping. And now what I mean by that is with melee, you pray magic, range, magic, range. As you can see, you just go f back and forth between two styles. And then now, on their other hand, they said this would be uh, a little weaker than Telos, however. 2k enraged Telos is significantly easier than what they claim that this boss is on par with. Now for Telos, I know 2k enraged does sound like a lot, but once you get the mechanics down, and for uh, once you get the mechanics down, it's fairly easy. It's just you have to do your defenses a little more better for like reflecting a resonance. Now for Telos there is one big issue and that is most of the fight you pray melee for like phase two when he does that magic onslaught you pray magic and then you just go back to melee once he's done with that. And again that is two styles but compared to Araxor you're not constantly praying back and forth. And then with Telos, you're doing it when he camps another style. So, it's not quite like this boss. Raksha, you need to purse swap every single attack from magic to range to melee. And then of course you can do it in any single order. Well when the boss does that attack and he can do the attacks twice in a row meaning he can do a magic attack and then if you're used to going to like melee but he'll do another magic attack or sometimes you're praying magic and he does another magic attack you kinda swap your prayer or disable it instead since it is key binded and that smacks you the 5k through your prayer this boss is the complete worst because it's not easy no one in the world prayer swaps between all three styles and soul split now, maybe Solak I mean but again it's only just one style he melees you if you're basic or he ranges you so I mean there's light prayer swapping so Let's get on with the video on how to actually get used to the mechanics. This won't be a guide to deal with like the mechanics and stuff because I will be using unaugmented gear and this is so you can get used to prayer swapping and taking the damage. And for that, you will, you, you will need to use the best possible weapons you do have. And now, click on the security gate and enable practice mode. For this reason, I am not using my ring of death, I am using the Asylum Surgeon ring. And that is because even when you're using the ring of death, over time it uses charges, and right now an onyx is 4.1 mil. So, I don't want to really get free deaths because it's practice mode, and spend 4 mil when the time is near. So, let's start the boss, and... When the boss tilts his head up, it is a magic attack. When he smacks his tail into the air like this, it is a range attack. And then, honestly, the melee one that you saw me get hit with, it's a delay. Well, it has no delay really, like it happens instantly. Which, I mean, that's the problem with this boss have to pray flick correctly but he uses all three styles which is like the biggest issue so 
So let's get started. Range attack. Magic attack. And then if he starts to run to you, it's a melee. But this is where I think this boss is very faulty. You have to treat this like it's the Legos. You have to run back and forth. Back and forth. Whoops. See? I missed the per swap right there. And I mainly get hit 4k pretty much. Range attack. See? Like you have to pray way before it happens. And then he can stun you like that. You will need to freedom. And then right here, the boss might melee me. So that's why I'm kind of like kiting this boss. Because this is not an enjoyable boss to do, trust me. The purse swapping is the biggest turnoff. Let's just go right back in. And then if you are noticing, I am only using sharks. Of course, you can use best in slot food, but you just want to get used to prayer swapping back and forth. So just use sharks, I would say. It's more better. Magic attack. Range attack. Avoid him. Come on. Don't melee me. Come on, man. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Magic. Our resonance. And of course, he splashes. There we go. Use freedom for that. Range. As you can see, I mean, you, you get wrecked if you don't pray correct. 4k. Okay. Oof. Yeah. Finally dodged it. Ah, oh, man. These melees. It's, it's too painful. Oop. There we go. Scary. Freedom that. Oh man, dang it. Range, no food, so that's fine because these many hits is the worst about this boss. Now, let's go back since I completely ran out of food. Load your preset with again just sharks. And I'll do maybe two more attempts. And if you want, you could build 100% adrenaline the very first time you bank. It's not needed, it's just, I mean, if you want the swiftness to get a little further than normal. And now, let's join the last session. Boop. Per swiftness. And now, should be able to attack the boss a little better this time. Ooh, back to back range, look at that. Ooh, three ranges, perfect. Now, yep, as long as he doesn't melee me, that's the issue. Magic. Again, of course, melee. Range. I resonanced. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I forgot you can't freedom that. Dang it. Well, okay. And then one last try for this little video on showing the mechanics of phase one. It's mostly to cover over the per swapping because this is the worst part. Range Magic Melee, but of course it's impossible to avoid that Magic Range Magic 
melee, which honestly just tank the melee hit because it's too unpredictable. Uh oh, no, no. Oh well. Well, basically, just keep joining in your practice mode for, I don't know, 4-5 hours to get used to the prayer swap. But as you can tell, that melee is completely disgusting. Because even if you do prayer swap, it happens quicker than your prayer can happen. So for this purpose, you have to treat this boss like the Legos or next. You have to attack non-stop and run. Which, I mean, for manual it's kind of good, but I mean, you're not used to heavy prayer swapping. So that can be an issue for a lot of people. And then other people, like myself, I use revolution. When you are running and have revolution active, you will not use abilities whatsoever. So, they both have their pros and cons. I mean, you would think running would be the best, but you don't attack the boss whatsoever. You have to manually force the abilities to happen. And with that, thank you all so much for watching not a guide on the boss, but a way to get used to the mechanics. And enjoy the rest of your day.